say I've been getting tatted They say they like my thing, yeah I say that I'm flattered They ask me where I've been I say I've been getting tatted Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over all the common oil leaks on the BMW M52 engine because this is something that a lot of people keep asking me that they're losing oil after like a thousand miles. They're doing this, they're doing that, they don't know where the oil's coming from. They're losing a lot of oil and I know it's a well, well common problem on the M52 engine. So I'm going to go over all the parts that do leak oil and that you will need to replace if it is leaking oil and the things you need to check. Now this relates only for the M52 engine because as you guys know, all the gaskets on it are very prone to failure and they end up leaking. But I also want you to know that the sump is the biggest cause of the engine oil loss. So I'm gonna show you why that is and how to fix it on the M52 engine. Okay guys, so the first one, these are prone to leaking oil, which a lot of people I don't even notice is the oil filter housing. Now, what ends up happening, as you probably would have seen in my previous video, is it will leak oil down the back here and it will go unnoticed a lot of you don't look down here into your engine block but this is where it usually leaks down to from the sides here and straight down the engine block now it ends up burning off alone a lot with the coolant so you're not getting coolant loss as well because it loses both of them and a lot of people just don't notice it so if you are losing oil I would check that first because it's such an easy job straight to do it's just to look straight down there but also the oil cooler gasket can also leak which as you know sits here and it can leak down here onto the belts and everywhere else on the engine so it's something you just want to be aware of and just look everywhere to make sure it's not leaking oil and if it is just replace it because what it will do is end up it's destroying all your pulleys the next one on these guys is the vanos solenoids the seals itself now a lot of you end up buying new solenoids and realize because you bought the chinese ones that the seals don't fit properly then end up reusing the, gen the proper ones that come with your old ones that you took out. Now, if you buy them from BMW, you will have no problems with the seals, but if you're looking to buy cheap ones and trying to be cheap, you're gonna have problems with all your seals and that will be leaking straight down here as well. This is why this block was covered in oil when I got it. It hasn't been washed because of that reason, because they were leaking and obviously the last owner neglected it and that's why oil is all everywhere and grease. Some of these engines ain't like this when you buy them in the UK, but this one was, as you guys know it was a neglected one until I come into my hands. The next one on them is the camshaft sensor seals as well, the o-ring on them. They can leak oil, oil, not that I've ever really noticed it on this one, but they do and they can weak oil if they do. Like I say, it's an easy job to take out. It's just one a Torx bolt and that's about it and then you can get to the o-ring very easily from there. But if they do leak, they leak straight down as well. So make sure you do change that because obviously you will end up um, in big trouble if it starts going onto your belts. You already know the reason for that. The next one on these guys is the valve cover. Now, as you guys know, these are prone to leaking around 90 to 100K. This one was changed when I first bought it, so I know it's already been done. But as you guys know, a lot of you who change the valve cover gasket when you do, when it does leak, don't change the bolts. And then what happens is they end up coming back loose and then leaking oil. They all These also start to leak and start to leak onto the exhaust and you end up noticing it. So it's something you have to be aware of and just rectify it immediately. But these are the most common cause of oil loss, especially down the back as well of the engine so be aware of that that to change your valve cover also change your bolts because as you guys know the ccv puts excess pressure on it and it can cause the bolts to come loose so be aware of that and make sure you change them because they're taught to yield and once they're untaught they don't retighten again and you end up snapping them inside the head itself they're not hard to get out but you don't want that to happen the next one guys is your ccv as you know it sits all down here and obviously the pipe at the back now what ends up happening is over the years they become hot then become brittle. The heater's element stops working in them. After the years, it starts heating, stops heating, heating, stops heating, and end up breaking the hose. And then they leak oil into the foam bit that's on the back of the CCV itself. Then you guys, it goes unnoticed and you start losing oil. Now, when that happens, you end up with a loss of oil. And you also end up where your oil, for instance, isn't reading properly because your CCV is actually pulling too much vacuum, then that's when a lot of you guys notice that your valve cover rooms are popping, especially a lot of you have the plastic ones because the CCV ends up going and it ends up popping your valve cover and then blowing the whole thing to pieces. So then that's why you have to replace them both at the same time. So just be aware of that as well, that 
if this, you're losing oil as well, check your CCV because usually the diaphragm ruptures and if it ruptures it ends up losing oil which goes back into the manifold which then ends up blowing it out your exhaust and that's why a lot of you end up seeing a lot of smoke and a lot of these engines end up getting run too low on oil and then end up destroying themselves. The next one we're gonna speak about guys is the crankshaft sensor seal. Now, just like the camshaft sensor seal, they can leak as well. And if they leak, they'll leak oil down the back. And obviously it will just be dripping everywhere. So it's something you need to address the moment you see it leaking. I always say when you get under the car to change the oil to check it, you can see it clearly and just make sure it's not leaking. Also, when you take, if you're gonna take the manifold off to replace the CCV, you'll be able to see it also. So just check it and make sure it's not leaking because if it is, replace it because obviously why you got the manifold off, it's an easy job to do. And you know, it just saves you the headache in the long run. So make sure you do replace them things immediately on the engine if they are leaking, especially the crankshaft sensor seal because obviously it was, can either stop your car starting, it can either cut you out while driving. It's a major, major cause of why a lot of people are getting stalling stops as well as the solenoids as well. So be aware of that. The next one they like to leak, guys, is the oil sump gasket. Now, as many of you guys know, I know a lot of you go and replace it, um, and then it starts leaking again. This is a common, common issue that a lot of people end up doing and then come back to me saying they're leaking again. I'll tell you why that is. The normal gaskets from BMW or Victor Rains do not hold the oil properly. These engines run so hot that they end up busting all the gaskets anyway, but due to the heat. And a lot of it is due in the US, you guys know you get different heats, different cold climates, you change climate like anything, and the engines can't maintain the temperature properly with all that different heat cycle, cold cycle, you know, your temperature's all over the place. So what ends up happening is the gaskets end up popping. Now on the sump itself, the best thing I found to do is to order a load of new bolts Bolts. Do not buy a new gasket. Lower the bolts down low, so they're not turn the sumps on the floor. Just unscrew the bolts so the sump drops a little bit like that away from the engine itself. Put all sealant around it, which is RTV sealant, which is a heat sealant, all around the gasket, and then take each bolt out in turn and put the new bolts in and retalk it up. You do not have to take the whole subframe down to do that. I did that on this one, which is very, very easy to do. All you need to do is just let the sump down a bit and just seal it and then put it back up and let the engine warm up so it heats it and seals it properly. Make sure you talk it back up with new bolts. You can get to all the bolts very easily without taking the subframe down. So just redo all the bolts at the same time. But like I said, make sure you do the sealing first then put the bolts in and take them out one at a time and we talk them each time in cycle. As you guys know, it goes in a diamond shaped pattern to re them, so just remember that. Make sure you do that on the oil sump because that's a common cause of oil loss and it's something I get asked a lot about on the sump itself. The next one, guys, on this that I just want to relate to is a lot of people keep saying they're burning oil every thousand miles after that. You know, this is perfectly normal on these engines. You guys always ask me, this is a common problem on the M52. These engines do not burn oil just because they like to. It's because they run very, very hot. And these engines, even BMW state that these engines will burn oil. And the M performance car, especially this one, which is the M52, will burn oil. So in that essence, what you need to remember is, you know, even if you replace all the gaskets and you're still losing oil, it's perfectly normal. In extreme heat, you've got to remember, oil will just completely di disappear from the engine. At extreme heat, these engines get to hot enough. Do not think it's you've got a leak somewhere. No, it's just these engines use a lot of oil. They do. That's why I always tell everyone, carry oil with you everywhere you go when you drive this car. Another problem is stop reading your temperatures via OBD. This is why BMW never fitted a temp gauge. These cars are designed to run hot. This is why BMW never put it there because people would panic every time they see the temperature changing. The DME controls the water pump. It controls at what cycle it wants to run it and what speed and also what temperature this engine is meant to run. You do not control it. So please factor that in before messaging me saying that you're, you've been running all the codes and it's running at different temperatures every time you see a different temperature on the obd it runs different when you're stopping it runs different on the highway it's perfectly normal okay guys so as you would have just seen there i've walked you through all the 
common oil leaks on the BMW M52 engine. These are the most common, common problems that will leak oil on this engine. This is a lot of the time where people don't check and this is why they end up losing a lot of oil. Make sure you check all that. As I said to you, it is normal for these cars to drink a bit of oil. I'll even try and find the service information bulletin by BMW if I can about the oil and I'll pull it in the link description below for you guys to see it yourself. This is perfectly normal. Now, obviously mine is an M Sport 1, as you guys know, so the mapping on it is quite an aggressive mapping from factory is 258 bhp so it does drink oil you got to remember it's making a lot more power than your average m52 so therefore i'm used to it anyway obviously my one doesn't drink that much oil i mean i do quite a bit of a miles and obviously i lose probably about a quarter every 1500s even though everything's been done it's still perfectly normal there is no way around it. you just get used to it and you get used to living with the m52 this isn't the first m52 i've had and like i say they've all been like that like I say, it's a common, common issue. A lot of people get scared of this issue and then that's why they don't buy it, but it's a common, common problem. Do not be scared to go and buy an M52 with it leaking. They're always gonna leak. They all leak from the sump. It's just something you have to learn to deal with. Like I say, use my technique. It does stop it leaking, but you'll still see you will lose oil still. It's just the way these engines are. Because of the way they've been made to be emission friendly, they run at high temperature. As I've told you, do not go worrying checking your temperature on the OBD. That's the reason BMW didn't put a temp cage on them because they didn't want you knowing the temperature. The electric coolant pump will pump at its own rate whenever the DME is, requires it at all different speeds and at all different temperatures. That is how these engines are designed to run to make the best power and the best emissions possible for you driving around. Do not be checking it because I'm getting a lot of you message me with your codes worrying about the temperatures are going all over the place. That is why they don't have a temp gauge for that reason. That is why, because everyone wouldn't want to drive their car think it's overheating all the time, go replacing every part to stop that happening when it's perfectly normal. If you check the thermostat, I think they're, I believe they're set to open at 110 Celsius, the thermostat on these cars, which is perfectly normal. So I hope this video is going to help you guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. This is BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.